Okay guys, I'm here in St. Peter's Square and I have never seen lines like this in my life. The line that I'm showing you is actually double, so it's wrapped around twice, like a coil. So I'm coming to you post Easter. It is April, which is spring, which is sort of high season and it is midweek. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning and this is it. This is what the line situation is. A friend of mine who's a tour guide told me she waited two hours yesterday to get into St. Peter's and I can see that that's easily the case with the, the line that I have seen. So then, how do you beat this line and get into St. Peter's Basilica without this two hour wait? That is the subject of today's video. Let's get into it. The first thing that you can try is to come here when the Basilica opens at 6.50 in the morning. You will not be alone. At this point, people are showing up at seven o'clock in the morning to try to beat the lines, but there's no way that they are lines as big as this. So if you come when the Basilica opens at 6.50 a.m., you will see a little bit of a line, but as soon as they open security, you should whisk through pretty quickly. The second way to beat the lines at St. Peter's Basilica is to take a tour of St. Peter's tomb. Arguably, this is not for everyone. First of all, you may not even be able to get tickets. Second of all, if you can get tickets, if you can't get them directly through the Vatican, you buy them to a reseller, it starts being expensive. So again, that may not be for you, but it is actually an amazing tour. And at the end, you pop out <laughs> into St. Peter's Basilica. The third way to skip this line at St. Peter's Basilica is to take the shortcut from the Sistine Chapel. So how can you do that? So several years ago when we were running our bed and breakfast, uh, we used to advise our guests, you know, there's this shortcut from the Sistine Chapel to St. Peter's Basilica, and it is only for tour groups, but you can kind of sneak in, sort of attach yourself to a tour group, and pretty much they would let it slide. At a certain point, the Vatican put a stop to this and actually did a video for you about this. And basically only those people who were on a tour could access that shortcut. And they were very, very strict about it. Well, then COVID happened. And then when things started reopening, that shortcut was inaccessible for quite a while, but it has come back. So the shortcut is back, but how do you access it? Again, you must be on a tour, but here's the thing. You have to be on a tour in which the description specifies that you will access St. Peter's Basilica. There are a lot of tours of the Vatican Museums that end in the Sistine Chapel and do not include the Basilica. So if your goal is to skip the line to St. Peter's Basilica on a tour, make sure that you book a tour that specifically includes entry to the Basilica. At the time I'm making this video, I haven't been able to find any tours on the Vatican Museum's website, meaning tours that you book directly through the Vatican Museums with a Vatican guide that include the shortcut to the Basilica. So basically you have to book a tour with a tour operator. You guys know how much I love to tell you about these really special tours like the Keymaster tour and the happy hour tour and the tours on Friday and Saturday nights. None of those tours include the Basilica. So if you're looking for a tour that includes the Basilica, it's gonna have to be one of the more normal tours that go during the day. One more caveat. Not all of the tours that include the Basilica include a tour of the Basilica. Some of them actually just take you through the shortcut to the Basilica and then leave you inside to explore on your own. Other tours actually include a guided tour of the Basilica. So if that's important to you, make sure you check the description very carefully to get that tour. Hey guys, if you are enjoying this video, would you please hit the like button below? Apparently it really helps with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, one more way that you can avoid this line to St. Peter's Basilica. Now, this is very particular and it's very specific to this moment. My friend Mountain, the Catholic traveler, just recently posted that the Vatican has opened up a new entrance just for pilgrims going in to pray, going to confession or to attend mass. You have a very specific route you have to follow. It only includes the right-hand nave. You get to see the Pieta. Uh, there's chapels where you can go pray, and then you are made to exit through the Vatican Grotto. So you really don't get to tour the Basilica. But if you are indeed going to the Basilica purely as a pilgrim to pray, to go to confession, or to attend mass, then you do have a dedicated entrance, which is not nearly as long as all of this. All right, so the new pilgrim's entrance to St. Peter's is a complete game changer for those who come here to pray or go to confession, go to mass. Check out this line. See this? Like it, it's, it, it loops, like it's multiple loops and then it goes all the way around. 
it's a couple hour wait right now to get in. But there's the pilgrim's entrance. So rather than waiting here and all this, we're gonna just go right over there. So instead of all this, we're just gonna cut straight through here. So not this entrance, this entrance is reserved for prayer. Just use the prayer entrance for the first time. Check out this lawn. Skipped it. And one final word about trying to skip this crazy line. You can also try to come in low season if we even know what that is anymore. Low season seems to have shrunk <laughs> to maybe just a few days out of the year. Certainly from March to late October, I think this is the situation. So if you're looking to come in low season to avoid crowds, you're looking at pretty much uh, the dead of winter and certainly not during the holidays. In the description below, I've got links to all the tours that I've talked about where you can visit St. Peter's Basilica directly from the Sistine Chapel. So you can book those tours from the links below. And if you're wondering how to see the Sistine Chapel without any crowds, check out my video right here.